widgets. We've seen it on our phones, on our Macs, and now we're seeing it in our design softwares. Not too long ago, Figma announced a new feature called widgets, which allow you to essentially put tools right within your design files without having to even leave your Figma file. These widgets allow you to do anything from project management, taking notes, leaving voice memos, and the list goes on and on and on. And in this video, we're gonna explore my top seven Figma widgets together. Let's jump right in. All right, so let's jump into exploring and understanding what Figma widgets does and how powerful it could be. Now with any device, whether it's your phone, your Mac, or even your design software, um, these widgets can only be as useful as you actually make them to be. So in this video, I'm gonna go ahead and explore some of the ones that I've found to be useful uh, and helpful when I'm working on my projects. Now keep in mind, you can access these widgets by simply going to figma.com slash community slash widgets. Another way to get there is to go to figma.com, go to community and click plugins and widgets from right here. Once you've done that, you should be taken to a page like this uh, from where you can go ahead and filter to just see widgets, which is what we want to do right now. So as you can see, we have widgets for everything. We have widgets to keep track of uh, to-dos. We have widgets for taking photos, uh, to creating tables, to creating voting platforms, and the list goes on and on and on. There's even Jira integration, so you can actually see your issues from Jira right within your Figma file, which can be super useful if you're using Jira. So let's jump right into some of the ones that I found useful. Now, in no particular order, starting with number one, simple vote. So this simple vote uh, widget can be found if you go ahead and click on the search bar at the top over here and search for simple vote or any of the names of the widgets that we're going to talk about in this video. You can easily access them from here. And if you want to just see widgets, you can go ahead and click on the widgets tab over here. Awesome. So let's jump right into simple vote. So essentially, Simple Vote allows you to take votes on different designs or different sticky notes, as this kind of picture shows, uh, right within your design file. So if you have multiple people working on your design file and you want to quickly get votes on a certain design, uh, let's say if you're deciding to go with version A or version B of your designs, you can simply collect that vote right within your design without ever leaving Figma through this widget. So let's go ahead and try it out by clicking Try It Out. If you're not logged in, go ahead and log in. Okay, so I've opened up a design file over here. Uh, this is a mock-up that we've put together in, in one of the complete courses for Figma. Uh, if you're interested in learning how to design mock-ups like this, I have my link for this course in the comments below or the description. And we're gonna go ahead and access widgets by going through the Figma icon or the main menu over here. Going down to widgets and clicking find more widgets. And because we were taking a look at the simple vote over here, it's already shown up in my recents, but if you don't see that, go ahead and simply search for that over here and it should come up. I'm gonna go ahead and now open that up and click on add so that it will add this widget to my file. As you can see, it's placed it inside of this frame, but I'm gonna go ahead and drag it out. If this does happen to you and your widget goes inside of a frame, just go ahead and drag it out so that it's not inside of any of your frames. So now I have the simple uh, widget over here and I can interact with it just like I can interact with a plugin, but now it actually stays and lives on my file. So now I can go ahead and select the settings. So whether I wanna make the votes anonymous or allow multiple votes from people, I can go ahead and just click start and put a vote right over here. So let's say I'm creating two versions of my login page over here. I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate that. I can go ahead and also duplicate the simple vote here. Now if my team members go in, they can go ahead and click plus uh, to vote on a certain design or click again to remove their vote. So you can imagine how useful this would be if you have, let's say five or 10 people in this design file, and they can go in and click on that little vote button over here. Uh, and we can easily collect some vote data instead of having to go outside of Figma. So that's simple vote. Coming in at number two, sticky notes. So this is a useful widget if you like taking notes right within your app. Sometimes I get really tired and frustrated of creating text boxes on the side of my uh, designs to make notes. Um, I know it's not the best place to put them, but sometimes it's just really convenient and I guess if we want to solve for it by creating widgets. So now if we go down back to the widgets tab over here, click on find more widgets and type in sticky notes. 
Now, of course, you'll see multiple widgets come up because a lot of them share the same name. Uh, but the one that I'm really interested in is this sticky note over here by Nitish Kangwal. Hopefully I said the name right. I'm going to go ahead and click that one and add it to my project. And again, it's done the same thing by pasting it inside of a frame here. So we want to go ahead and just make sure we drag this outside. And so now it's outside of my frame there. So let's say I want to make some notes about this tutorial one page. I can go ahead and make a note of whatever I want. Cool. And so that's the sticky notes. And now just like with any frame, you can actually duplicate any widget as well. Um, and that's how you can create, let's say, another note. And you can even go ahead and show who the author is. So if multiple people are leaving notes, you know who left that note. And that's sticky note. Let's get to number three, a voice memo. So we use voice memos when we're communicating through iMessage, through Messenger, through Instagram. The list goes on and on and on. So why can't we do it in our design files? And so that's what Figma solved using widgets, specifically the voice memo widget. We can go ahead and open that one up by going to widgets and searching for voice memo. And the one right here by Figma themselves will show up. I'm gonna go ahead and click on it, add it to my project. Make sure I drag it outside. So it's living right over here. Now keep in mind, you can move your widgets wherever you want. So if I wanna move my voice memo over here, um, and let's say I wanna make a voice memo about this request page to explain to my team how this functionality works. I'll go ahead and click on it to actually interact with it because that's what widgets do. They're interactive so that you can actually do your work quicker. So let's go ahead and record a memo and I'll show you how that works. You might need to allow microphone access. So if that does pop up, go ahead and click allow. And let's go ahead and start recording. All right, so in order to use the request page, the user will see multiple laundry stores and they'll be able to request the service from the one that they choose. And from here, they can navigate away to the profile or the services screen. And I can play it back if I want. Number four, little to do. All right, so this widget is for those of us who want to always stay organized and keep track of our projects and have to-do lists everywhere. Now, instead of having to-do lists outside of your Figma files, now you can have them inside of it. So let's switch on over to widgets again and click on find more widgets. And go ahead and search LIL for little to do. And this one right here will come up by Jordan Singer. Go ahead and open it up and add it here and again, drag it outside. Perfect. So this is one of the simplest to-do lists I've seen. Essentially, you go ahead and add to-do. Write your to-do, let's say, clean up design system and add that as a to-do or create tablet version, add that as another to-do. And as I go through completing my tasks, I can go ahead and click on complete. Or I can go ahead and delete it if I don't need it anymore. Cool, P pretty self-explanatory, basically a to-do list living inside of your Figma file. Very cool. One thing to note with widgets, just like anything else in Figma, you can go ahead and click the delete button and get rid of it at any time. Next on our list, coming in at number five, Navigate. Navigate is good for helping our users or our team members understand the flow of our project and be able to navigate through it. So we can do this by going over to our widgets tab, finding more widgets and searching for Navigate. Once you've searched it, this one by Emin Sinani should pop up. I'm gonna go ahead and open it, add it over here, move it down here. It will require me to go ahead and click on it so that I can go ahead and add whatever I want. And let's say I wanna create a user flow. Uh, simply I can go ahead and drag this frame a little bit over and click on the right arrow, which is already selected, but I can go ahead and change this to whatever I want. We're gonna do the right arrow because we're gonna show there's a flow between these two pages. And you can click on any of them and go ahead and make changes to it if you want. And you can go ahead and even add a text to it. And that's what it would look like to your team members. Very cool. Coming in at number six, more of a fun one is Photo Booth. Let's go ahead and open our widgets and search for Photo Booth. 
Now, this is more of a little bit of a fun one uh, where you can go ahead and take memorable team selfies. Um, so this could be a good widget to use for the icebreaker portion of a brainstorming session. So let's go ahead and add this over here and see how that works. So you simply click on this little red dot, just like you would on a camera. Click allow if it asks you for permissions. And you can take photos right over here. So as you can see, the photo shows up right over here. Um, just a little fun little thing um, as a team activity that you can do. Last but not least, number seven is Activity Tracker. As the name suggests, Activity Tracker allows you to keep track of your activity within Figma. Let's say you're doing freelancing or you're working on a project and you want to keep track of the time you've spent on a certain part of it or on a certain design. So let's go ahead and add this widget in. Just move it over here. And first thing it will ask us to name our activity. So let's say we're working on our login pages. And that could be one activity. And you can go ahead and keep track of the time by clicking start or that play button over there. Um, and as I'm working on my design, um, this timer essentially is running. And whenever I'm done and I want to keep track of how long it took for me to work on that screen, I can go ahead and either pause and come back later or I can go ahead and stop um, and see I've spent a whopping 18 seconds on this design. As always, with all widgets, you can go ahead and move them around. And if there's any tools that you have access to within this widget, you can go ahead and access it from the toolbar that's right next to it. So, for example, you can use light mode. You can go ahead and reset it if you want to start again or you can go ahead and edit it if you want to make edits to the title over there all right with that said that's my top seven widgets in figma i hope you enjoyed it uh, if you found some value in this video please give it a thumbs up and do subscribe to help support the channel and stay notified in case there's any new videos if you're looking to expand your knowledge of Figma or learn more, I do have a complete six hour course that's available online. You can find that course in the comments below or in the descriptions. Thanks for joining us and see you on the next one.